Use synthetic division to divide 2x to the fourth minus 8x cubed minus 17x squared minus 52x plus 60 by x minus 6. So to use synthetic division, we must have the divisor in the form x minus k. And we do have that in this situation. Our divisor is of the form x minus 6. And so to use synthetic division, we place that k value outside of a structure. And then we just take the coefficients of the polynomial, uh, of, of the dividend, the numerator, however you want to think of it. So 2, negative 8, negative 17, negative 52, and 60. All right, so how the process starts is we take the first coefficient and we just sort of drop it down. And now we repeatedly multiply and add, multiply and add. So I'm going to take the 2 and I'm going to multiply it by 6. So I'm going to say 2 times 6 is 12. Now I add in the column. Negative 8 plus 12 is 4. Multiply. 4 times 6 is 24. Add. Negative 17 plus 24 is 7. Multiply. 7 times 6 is 42. And add. Negative 52 plus 42 is negative 10. Multiply. Negative 10 times 6 is negative 60. And add. 60 plus negative 60 is 0. So now what happens here is these coefficients that are on the bottom of this structure are the coefficients of the quotient. We've gone through a division process. It's different than long division. It's just a different structure. It is, a, it is in fact the same result that we would get by long division. It's just a different structure. Okay, so we had this 2x to the fourth plus or minus 8x cubed minus 17x squared minus 52x plus 60, and we were dividing it by x minus 6. Now if you think of the long division process, our first term would be an x cubed term. And we would go from there. So what this tells me is the quotient is 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x minus 10 and there's no remainder. Let's see another example. Divide 2x to the third minus 3x minus 5 by x plus 6. So we have to have the form x minus k in the divisor. x plus 6 is the same as x minus negative 6. So I will use negative 6 on the outside of my uh, synthetic division structure. So negative 6 on the outside. On the inside, I would have 2. Now we have to be careful here. Our coefficients must be in descending order. And so notice that we have a, an x squared term here missing, right? If we sort of think about it, there's a 0x squared here. So I'm going to put a 0 in its place. And then negative 3 and negative 5. And again, we start the process. We drop down the 2, and we multiply and add. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. 0 plus negative 12 is negative 12. Negative 12 times negative 6 is 72. And adding, negative 3 plus 72 is 69. Multiplying, 69 times negative 6 is negative 414. And adding gives us negative 419. All right, so again, this tells me that the quotient is 2x squared. We started with an x cubed. We divided by an x. That gives us an x squared. 2x squared minus 12x 
plus 69. Now in this case we have a remainder of negative 419. So just like with long division, I would write minus 419 over x plus 6.